What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Gamera, trying out a new game for you guys. PC building simulator. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. All right, guys. So I'm going to be trying out this small little game on itch.io. It's PC building simulator. So I think the name's pretty forward on it. So we're just going to try it out. It's a thing I, I've wanted to like find a simulator for for a while now. And it just happened to pop up. I know a, a couple, a couple other people have already played it, but it's a. I just want to try it out for myself, see what I, what it is. I think it's pretty basic right now, and don't think there's a lot to it. So we'll jump right, right in, right, uh, right now. So let's go. Sorry, I'm a bit tired for some reason today. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to PC Building Simulator. To get started with this tutorial, press I after you close this window to open your inventory. All the parts you own are shown in the inventory, along with the quantity, quantity you have. Close in for it after you've done, continue the tutorial. You can press T to toggle the window and Q to quit the tutorial. Alright. Alright. I... So this is are all my item. Okay, so I have a lot of things. So I never actually myself built a PC. To get started building your PC computer, you navigate the miscellaneous category on the right and select standards. Alright. Staffs are spaced or installed between the motherboard and the metal tray behind it so a short circuit is not created. There are also the place the motherboard screws installed in. You can press T to toggle this window and Q to quit the door. Alright, so we'll go to I and we'll go to miscellaneous and standoffs. To install the standoff, hover your mouse over the highlighted slot and then press left. Depending on the motherboard you're planning to use the build, the motherboard will use uh, uh, as ATX form factor and these are the location that highlight with the screwed hole. Okay. Alright, so, okay, cool, okay, that's a cool interface. A bit slow because my computer is slow, but, alright, so, install standoff here. Here, here, everywhere that's highlighted. So, this is pretty straightforward so far. I can't wait for one day to actually build myself a computer so I don't have to endure this uh, shit heap I'm using right now. Right now, this is annoying. You can see the lagging while I'm playing. And it's something I, I take an interest to to try to learn to because I really want to do it myself. And you just install this. Installed it. Okay, before we install the motherboard, we need to install the power supply unit. That's the power source to everything computer. Once you inventory again, press I, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so. Uh, should be... This is all our list. And let's go... Uh, power supplies. Thermal take smart 500. Okay. okay. I guess it's going here. Now we're going to install the IO shield. This the IO shield serves the purpose of keeping the electromagnetic radiation inside the case, so radios and similar equipment around the computer won't be disturbed. To install it, select the miscellaneous category. Uh, and okay. Inventory miscellaneous uh, IO shield. Huh. All right. Now open your inventory again by pressing I and select the motherboard we you bought. Uh, this is the motherboard right here. Okay, pretty straightforward. At this point in real life, you would install the screws that holds the motherboard. Being sure to have one in every standoff, but the part is in the game are held together by magic, so they don't require any screws. Of course. Okay, now we are going to install the CPU. This is the component responsible for interpret interpreting and executing most of the commands from other hardware and software from the computer. To do this first, open the slot for that. Click the highlighted part on the motherboard. The part is called load loaded plate called load plate. And it will hold the CPU in place. Alright, so we need to open this. Is that it? Alright, there you go. I remember seeing this as like one of the hardest part to install. Now to install the CPU, go to your select I CPU, blah blah blah. Sorry, sometimes I'm gonna go fast because I understand what they're like they want me to do. CPU, dummy CPU. And Sagu. And this is the this is the crucial part where everything starts crunching if it's not installed properly. 
watching tutorial videos of uh, real computer assemblies before. Now we can apply thermal paste on the CPU. Thermal paste is a type of paste made from metal powder using zinc oxide, sometimes aluminum oxide, aluminum nitrite, or even silver. It fills the every fine gaps between the cooler and the receptive part for better thermal conductivity, better cooling. All right, makes sense. Thermal paste is in miscellaneous. I saw that earlier. And uh, kaboosh. Now we'll install the CPU cooler. To do this, open your inventory, go to the cooling category, blah, blah, blah. Cooling. Stock cooler. Close this. Kadoosh. Now we install the graphic card GPU. The graphic card or video card. The part that takes information on the GPU turns it into an image which is displayed on the screen. It can be a separate part called a dedicated or dis discrete video card. Like you, like you are about to see here or it can be built in the CPU called integrated video card which usually suck ass like a laptop does. As a rule of thumb, dedicated graphic cards have more power than integrated ones and are used to GPU intensive application like gaming and 3D model to install blah 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 blah. Okay, so we must find... We must find the graphic card, which uh, 680 is probably not a... Alright, now we have install... Now we will install the RAM, Random Access Memory Stick. This is the type of storage in your PC which works very fast. Running programs are stored here for faster operation. If too many programs get loaded onto the RAM, the CPU has more than to, what sorry, sorry. Mm. Has to move them between the RAM and the HDD, which slows down the operation of the PC to install them, blah 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 blah. So RAM sticks. So okay, so I guess I need to open these before. Hello? 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 Oh, sorry, okay, I can't think uh, uh, memory, I guess. Oh, I need to open a little clip. Oh, open up! So I'm installing RAM, RAM, Ram sticks on the, um, the motherboard. Eventually, if this fucking opens. All right, one side done. Can you open it? God damn it! All right, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. No, open up, you son of a gun! Now select the module in your inventory under memory. Okay, I already got it. Okay, uh... Did I forget to read something? Alright. Now you install HDD hard drive. Uh, these just hold all your data, like your operating system programs, photo, music. I think you have open. Okay. Pretty easy so far. Drive cover, cover, uh, simple cooling, mic panel, at the GPU, uh, hard drive, sorry, why the fuck did I not see that? One. Lastly, we will install the fan in the back of the PC. Select it from the cooling category in your inventory, install it, the highlighted slot. Okay. Uh, oh, simple fan. Fan. The last part of the tour is cabling. To start doing it, press F1 and change the cabling mode. Click everything highlighted. The the high, Click every highlighted slot to install a cable there. If the connector you select fits, you will be presented with the info about the specific cable. Don't forget to connect the hard drive on the on the back. Okay. Okie dokie. So F1. T F1 uh, cable. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm assuming most cabling. Uh, connector. I uh, you want to install? Um, I don't fucking know what this is. Uh, this. No, oh, this connector is not fit here. Not fit here. No, no. 
Table 6 are a connector used to provide additional power to card that are installed in the PCIe slot, usually high performance graphic card. Okie dokie. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, six again. Okay. So this must be a 2024 pinpoint. To 2024 pin ATX power cable provides power to the motherboard. Some expansion cards, for example, low power dedicated graphic card, don't need additional power connectors. Get all the power they need directly from the motherboard. Press T. All right, so now we got this connector here. Hmm. Oh, wait, actually, I have another connector down here. Uh, is this no? No. Uh, miss, uh, fan cable? No. SATA? No. Molek? No. Why is it not connecting any, any of the cable? What the fuck is going on? Alright, uh, uh, let's move on to... This? Let's try this one then. I'm, I'm assuming this is the fan cable? Yes. Makes sense. Come on, select it! Come on! Yeah, the hit zone, Let, let's uh... What's this? Platform rotation, yeah, uh, you said the hard drive, right? Ooh. Okay, we got a... And a couple more power supplies back here. Come on. Serious right now? Come on now. Alright, so we have the SATA. SATA cup is used to transfer data between device and the motherboard is in the update. The older ADI connector and features support the hot swapping, connecting, and disconnecting, and support higher. Okay, okay. Come on, just set. Oop. Oh, okay. The side of power card, build, 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 15 pin cable used to provide power. New module, the CD drive, and storage device, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so that's installed. Got a couple more powers, but I don't know what fucking. No. <sighs> Not good. Come on, just select the damn thing. There it is, Molek. Okay, the, the EPS-12V power cable provides additional power to CPU requires to work. All right, congratulations, you have finished assembling your computer. It's now ready to go. Oh, fuck. I think I can put more stuff in here. I can put the disk drive, right? I have to, uh, mounting the I DVD. Can I not? Can I not put a DVD drive? Oh, I can put the back panel. Put the front panel. Ooh, okay. Good enough. Good enough. We're good to go. Good to go. Turn this over here. Oh, I'm missing uh, 
missing uh, this uh, this cover. Apparently, I can't. Well, let's let's see if I can install it. Uh, well, I can install actually. Uh, ooh, I can install more. Ooh. Oh, I install more drive. Uh, DVD cover. Can I install one here? Come on, just install it. All right, guys, that's going to be it for our PC building simulator. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. It's pretty fun. Uh, I like the tutorial. It gives you a lot of information concerning what you're doing and why you're installing it and what basically, basic wise, what it does. Uh, I'm assuming in future updates, they're probably going to add more different parts, more tower models or case models and stuff like that, which would be pretty interesting and like getting to know, like familiarize what parts were, which part that would be pretty cool. Because myself trying to trying to build my PC in the future would be really cool. Uh, definitely tell me in the comments below what you think of the game. Would really appreciate that. And of course, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Would really appreciate that as also. Uh, subscribe, I think I already said that. I'm not sure. <laughs> Follow me everywhere: Me Time Gamer, Twitter, just Facebook, Instagram, and right here youtubecom slash Me Time Gamer. I post a new video every week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.